Oh, that's nice. Mm. Yeah, from getting fit in the past, I, I, I know that I fail to get fit, I fail to get, I fail to get fit, and then suddenly I go up a lump. So for me, it's very, it's very much in gears. And, uh, you know, I was sort of getting into third gear about mid-jam, and then I fall, uh, fell off the wagon, and then you get annoyed and you just can't be bothered. And before you know it, you know, you, you've gone back into second gear. And then coming back out of that, it's, it's like my clutch stops working. But, you know, if I could get into fourth gear and, and, and go on holiday and, say, get, a, say get up a steep 8A, I'd, I'd start to get some belief. And then I'd get lighter. And then I could use my cheaty, you know, rhythm methods that I use to climb. Um, and I'd start, you know, you, you, you've got less... You know, there's less to you, so you fit in shapes better. You're lighter, so you can accelerate your body. Your skin doesn't hurt as much. Your tendons don't hurt as much. You know, you you don't get as pumped, so you're not you know you've not got that inner whine and noise to deal with. Yeah, so th this is quite a nice way to warm up. I mean, you can even do this on rest days because it's not it doesn't wear you out at all. And if I run up and go on the two green holds, and I want to not touch the wall. Then I'm running through all the various stages of, of how to make a good form with my body. So I'm looking at the angles of the holds. I'm looking at how my feet are going to be positioned. And away, I've got two clogs on the wall that I'm going to run into. And if my tummy button ends up in the right position and my arms fly into the right position, I'm more or less in the right configuration. And looking at it, when I run through those stages, I can feel more or less what the right position is. When I feel like I know what the right position is, that's when I decide to run. And it's miraculously still, which is a surprise, isn't it? Because it's the first move I've done during the day. But if I run through it properly, that's what happens. If I didn't do that, that's not what would happen. But anybody can do exactly that. I've been training quite a lot, they've been bouldering quite a lot, so I'm quite, I'm fairly strong, but just heavy. You know, I'm carrying two stone compared to what I was when I was climbing at my best. And, um, you know, climbing V5, V6 isn't too bad if you're that heavy. So I'm, I'm not sort of, not too down in the mouth. I was not in bad shape in 2018 when I went to um, Madrid, climbed on the uh, granite there and uh, La Pedrita, the rockiness as they call it, and managed to do did a couple of 8As and did a, an 8B plus called uh, Inuit, which I, which I managed to flash the start on, which was uh, quite unusual, like a 7B plus boulder problem in itself. And then uh, my friend did a film called Slab Education, all about uh, climbing on the granite using your feet. And then that was, um, yeah, I was climbing quite well then. I was really hoping to get back and uh, get on it. But then we had the, uh, the viral drama. And then, um, yeah, ever since then, I've, I've had some commitments sort of with real life. So, um, yeah, it's all been a bit tricky, but I am really psyched. I mean, I've got, probably have got eyes bigger than tummy at the minute, but got some like a 7B and a 7A plus at the wall that I'm trying. They're actually quite hard and really interesting. So I'd like to do those. And uh, some V6 and V7 that I've worked that I'll hopefully get around to doing. So climbing on, climbing on resin is what I'm doing at the moment, which is not a great, uh, it's not a great favor to mine, but, um, but certainly it hits me where it's necessary to hit me and make me pull. quite like climbing easy stuff where you're just a real miser with power as well. So you just like try and try and do all the climbing by weight transfer without ha pulling at all. But on the other hand, then learning how to pull really hard, you know, when you really need to, that's another part of the skill. So getting good at the soft skills and getting good at the hard skills are, are both really useful if you're going to get the right attitude for a move. 
in terms of alignment and how you go about it. I think the main reason why I can't lose weight is probably down to treating my gut badly a while ago when I was in London. I was eating a lot of uh, shit tortillas and, and uh, I think I just probably ushered in quite a bad biome in my body. And I think that affected me enough to ruin my thyroid. I think if your, your liver gets fatty, then even though your thyroid might be all right, your body doesn't make T4 into available T3. And so the doctor sort of like gives you a placement for that. So that's what the issue is for me. But I think if I sort out my biome, hopefully I could sort that out. It's just doing that when, when my dad, who, uh, who I'm at home with, offers me whiskey come sort of half past four or something. Um, you know, it's quite tricky. Fancy a scotch, John? And I'm like, OK, Dad. And before, before I know it, I've, I've got out the cashew nuts. And then, you know, sort of, have we any wine? And so <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. So actually, actually going against my natural tendency to do that is tricky. It's amazing how quite easy problems on this steepness. They're basically like chugging around E4s on, on Gogarth, aren't they? All right, let's try this blue one. Having the four Ks, you know, kombuku and kimchi and kraut and uh, kefir. Do you know, I'd like to grow that kombuka, scary kombuka fungus. Because we used to have one um, back in 84. Uh, Meaty used to have that in the, in, in the uh, it used to be next to all the dry clothes. It really scared me. It was like a UFO. But it was that was really good, and I actually came to quite like the taste of it. And kefir's got like five or six number amounts of bugs in it. Sauerkraut's the one, though, isn't it? If you can have one of them, I think sauerkraut's the one. And uh, kimchi, I really like, actually. Oh, slightly wrong. Yeah, I, that just feels, that feels just... Yeah, I'm just a bit too lardy for that at the minute. Boo! Do you like my lead shuffler's knee? That was brilliant, because <laughs> I really struggled with the heel. Uh, I went out there and up there. Yeah, and then, then you just use some, use some uh, fit, fit, fit Boy pump. I didn't really have any of that. No, I mean, I, recently, I saw that video of Stefan Gasoli doing Excalibur. And I mean, for all the life of me, I, I really felt like I could probably do it, you know. So the reality of that is different, I think. If I, if I was to go and try that, uh, I probably couldn't do many of the moves on it. I don't, I don't know, but I still think I could do it, even though it's a higher standard than I ever actually did. Um, I just still got a lot of self-belief, but, but it's just not borne out. It's like somebody's robbed uh, Johnny Dawes from me. And, uh, but I also had moments when I've, I've done hangs on holds that seem really unlikely and managed to do them and done some moves that seem really unlikely. And I think, actually, when push comes to shove, I could do something really hard, particularly if it wasn't too steep and I lost, say, a stone. If I could lose a stone or stone and a half, um, then I think I think I could do something quite, quite, quite fabulous. But and it's finding the right thing as well, finding something that plays to my strengths. Now it's it is difficult to sort of know the one has become deluded, and uh, and that reality has fallen out of out of step with uh, your own beliefs. It's called insanity, I think, isn't it? I'm living in, in Worcester, which is not renowned for its great rock. Have found like the Herefordshire, um, you know, Silurian limestone scene is, is not that great. You know, Coddington Bluff. It's not. We've not seen that in UKC, have we? Or, or Ledbury, Ledbury Ridge? No. I mean, you sort of you're on a mountain bike, and you, you sort of 
you go over the top of the crags. So it's, uh, they're quite nice, and I do like looking for these crags. And I found quite a few good little crags, but um, yeah, they're not gonna, they're not going to get me up, uh, you know, bibliography or something. Nothing's going to get me up bibliography. <laughs> Do you want to go try the lattice? Oh, yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah, we're just going to do that yeah. now. Because you put in your weight, um, what you've climbed, like grade you've climbed in the last couple of years or whatever, and then it tells you what grade most people with your finger strength climb. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easy. Bit more wait time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How was that one? Piss. <laughs> <laughs> and then put that on there. It looks great, doesn't it? All this tangling metal. <laughs> yeah. That's a Dan, Dan will find this funny to watch this. <laughs> oh, have we got some chalk? Have... Oh, what lovely clutter chalk that is, <laughs> Johnny. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that. I, I will use nothing else. Okay. So first one I've looked at with trepidation. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Good stuff. Still watching pretty casual. Yeah, that was all right. Sorry, I have to up a little bit. I put my chalk over there like an idiot. And... It's not good. I found it quite hard to pick up there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only just. Just okay, okay. Yeah. One more, one and a half might be. Another one and a half. Uh, That'd be about right, yeah. Yeah. Human beings are pretty ugly though, aren't they? You know, you see. You see we're not majestic. We can't, can't even stand we're, up. We're certainly not majestic. Look at you. Bust a go, Nan. <laughs> this is not how it should be done, that's for sure. Good. That's good. Two, three, four, five. Whoa. Okay. Annoying. I'll have another go at that. Yeah, I think yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I think you can. I must stop looking down at the brick. It's weakening me up my resolve. <laughs> I quite like it because you, you, you just, there's no technique. Well, there's some technique in it, but not a lot. Yeah. But it's just good fun trying to generate the power, isn't it? God, maybe I'm just a like total, you know, Training rat, and I, know, I never knew. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Solid. Nicely done. Ooh. That the that the mats. I I I am. Um, I tailored my effort to the seven seconds, seven seconds that time. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could do this at home. God, you don't even need what? to go on rock, do you? <laughs> well, I've got, I'll show you what I've got at home. It's a little, just an edge like this bid that I've got. Put a sling on it and either lift some weight, or put your foot in it and pull really hard. That's all I've been doing. And I'm much stronger on this than I will ever have yeah. been. And you are it, looking strong. How much have you on now? 40 kilos, I think. Bloody hell. Kilos. Come on the stand, do it. <laughs> oh, 
Well oh. done. That was good. Go. My burden. Yeah. It's quite a baby burden, really, isn't it? Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! That was, oh, that was close. <laughs> If I haven't looked oh. down, I've got to stop looking at this wall. It saps a good one <laughs> second off me yeah. for some reason. You had it, you were so it's, 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 the wall of, it's the wall of weakness, this <laughs> bit here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> That's bang on, I'm not doing any more than that. It's good. That was... <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. That's fun. Yeah, we took that. How much do you say you weigh then? It's instant. I weigh uh, 11 stone 10. Well, it's probably 11 stone... I bet I'm 11 11, actually. Okay. Best route in the last, hardest route in the last two years. Unfortunately, it's 2018, so oh, it's, it's not okay. 80 plus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was trying best during lockdown. I did, I did a Travis V7. V7, I think okay. it's fair. And I didn't really do sport. any routes. Didn't really do any routes. Okay, yeah. Probably 70 plus, really. Yeah. Really. Okay, so your results. You're weaker than expected for 7B plus and V7. Let's throw you right down. Okay, so let's let's go so update. It's just mega weak. So we're gonna, we're gonna, now we'll change it to see what at what point it says you're about right. So, okay. So, your expected range. V5. V3. It says you've got the strength of a V3 climber and 6B plus route. What? God, that's pretty weird, actually. But that's, that means, imagine, okay, should we change it to body weight? If we... Oh, okay, change it so, to... Say you lose... I think it's, is it 64 kilos? 7A and V6, if you... Lost that much weight, 13 kilos? Yeah. I mean, that to me is absolutely mental. When I was that weight, I climbed AB+. It's amazing how weak I am. Yeah. But I've done some horrendously hard, Finjury. powerful moves. Yeah. So, I'm a bit bewildered. I think mainly the, the, the most useful thing is if you do it again and have you done... It, oh. if you, have you got better? Yeah. yeah. So what grade should you be climbing them? What does it say? Uh, V11, ATA, which is, I mean, that's two grades jump in what it's told me I should be able to climb in a few months, in I mean, if you, if you found, if you, if you did something like uh, you know, Ben's roof at, at Raven Tour or something, yeah. I bet, it, bet that would translate. Yeah, yeah. Because some routes, that, that level will translate quite, Much more quite reliably, won't yeah. it? And harvest through 8B oh. plus, which I've never I look forward to being able to do a 60 boulder problem, that would be good. <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know, when I, when I was in La Pedrita, mm -hmm. I did, I think, three 7B pluses. Yeah. And not very, one of them I did on site, one of them took three goes or something. Mm -hmm. And they weren't, you know, they weren't slabs, so they, they were sort of verty, pressy, whatevers. Yeah, that one in slab mutation, so quite. Uh, yeah, it's full got some, body looking. It, it's got some power. It, yeah. is, it isn't just um, ditheriness. And um, yeah, I find it a bit bewildering actually. I wonder if I should just ban myself from using any dynamics for a while. 